Morning guys, in my office, already working, but about to crack open a bang. It is my favorite flavor, Star Blast. Um, if you remember from my meal prep a couple of weeks ago, I found these out at Walmart and I was very excited to see them. And so, of course, I had to pick up my favorite flavor. We all know I got my Zip Fizz upstairs, but you gotta mix it up a little bit and start the morning off with a bang. But to be honest, it still doesn't feel right if I don't shake it. So I'm just gonna do a little morning shake in three, two, one. Shake it, shake it. Don't shake it with the bang in your hand because like, it'll explode. Okay, mm, 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 mm. Shake, 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 shake. Get ready for the week. You can do this, mm, mm. Oh wait, am I a rapper now? Wait a minute, I gotta stop. Okay, okay, that was enough of that. I'm going to drink my bang and get back to work. Two. Close two. Out of your neck, out of your shoulders. There we go. Perfect. What happens is you start. Maddie. Maddie, get your head off the floor. Milton. Milton, Milton, sit, sit, sit. Good boy, finally, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Ow, Bubby, ow, Bubby. Good boy, Tinky. Okay guys, it is time for my first meal, which is a classic. We got bacon, we got eggs, and we got that spicy sausage that I'm excited to try. Now, a lot of people ask me questions like, how do you avoid that weird reheated eggs texture? And the answer is, I don't avoid it. Like, there, there is no way when you put eggs in the microwave and reheat them, like, the little outside's gonna get that reheated texture, um, but I just, I don't mind it. So, what I normally do is just, you know, try to break them up and kind of mix it in, but it's not something that stops me from being able to enjoy eggs. So, that's the answer. I mean, it, it, if anyone does know the answer, how to avoid your eggs from getting that weird reheated texture, you let me know. Comment down below. Look, I got the little scrambled egg train going right into the station. Mm. It's good, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, I just tasted the butter. Oh yeah. And now I will try for you the spicy sausage patty. You know I'm putting that in quotes till I have a taste. All right. Mm, it's respectable. I mean, it is moderately spicier than a regular patty, but it's good enough. So I'm gonna eat this. Oh, oh, it's hitting me on the back end. Woo, that's possibly what she said. So I got some water here left over for my workout. And now I'm off to watch Jane the Virgin. Like. It just premiered on TV and I don't feel like anybody told me, so like, comment down below, do you watch JTV? Any JTV fans out there, we're distraught it's the final season, but like, I know they're not gonna disappoint, so <laughs> I'll be back. I swear y'all, if you wanna watch some of the best dramatic, emotional acting of your entire life, if you wanna feel all your feelings, you gotta watch Jane the Virgin, I mean, did not disappoint. I mean, hasn't disappointed the entire series. Like, one of the most underrated television shows of our time, but like, that's enough about that. You see I got my ice drink here, and I'm gonna have a piece of gum. So this will last me for about a couple of hours until it's time to have that fat bomb, and I don't know why I'm smiling. Like, it could be horrible. I have no idea, but I'm gonna have these, and then I will catch you when I try the fat bombs. Okay guys, so I do have room in my macros today for the salami treat. So I'm having salami and two cheese sticks and I'll eat that in a couple of hours, but that means that right now I can have a fat bomb. And so, so if you remember from Sunday's meal prep, um, I was just throwing stuff together. Oh my gosh, I opened the bag and I could smell peanut butter. So that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, this is made of a bunch of things that like kind of go moist in room temperature, so I'm gonna put these back in the fridge immediately. They might even keep better in the freezer, but they've done okay in the fridge, but like they've been out for 10 seconds and they're already starting to soften. Like this is softening in my hand. The peanut butter layer is peanut butter, butter, and coconut oil. The chocolate layer is 
chocolate and butter and, and there's sweetener in both of these. So I use those sucralose drops and now I'm just gonna taste it. Mmm. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, I really like this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely making a recipe video for this. I mean, these are great. Like, this gives me exactly what I need. Like, you can taste the peanut butter. You can taste the chocolate. The consistency is amazing. Like, I'm very pleased that I found these. I can tell you right off the bat, I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty nice size. These are like 300 and something calories each, and they are 10 total carbs. I think they're only like four net carbs, but like, I'm counting total carbs, so these are 10, but I have enough room in my macros to fit that. I'll also put my macros at the end of today's video because I calculated them this morning when I was in my office, like because you just have to know how much you're eating if you wanna lose weight. Like, I honestly feel that way. If you've had experience otherwise where you didn't really have to track or whatever and you've had success, good on you. That's amazing. For me, I have to know how much I'm eating. So like right now, even my teeth are going right through the peanut butter layer. So like this starts to soften up immediately. So it has to definitely be stored in the refrigerator or the freezer. But this is great. And you saw, or you might have seen, I chose chunky peanut butter. Like, come at me, bro. Like, I like chunky peanut butter, okay? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But like, I think it just adds a wonderful texture and crunch. Like, okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. I drunk that ice drink, so now I'm drinking a full thing of water. I still got Powerade. I still got salami and cheese sticks. I still got hot dogs and tuna and jello. What? This is gonna be a great week, and it's gonna be like 20 total carbs. Like, yeah, I'm here for it. I am here for it. Okay, so I am definitely loving this more frequent eating thing. Like, right now is the time where I'm just like, Ugh, it's too early to eat dinner, but like, I haven't had anything in a couple of hours, and like, my mind is bored. But it's like, oh snap, I got room in my macros for meats and cheeses. So, I am going to have one of these Cracker Barrel Sharp Cheddar Sticks one of these jalapeno cheddar sticks. And what I'm most excited about is this Appleton Farms spicy dry salami that I got from Aldi. So I'm going to open this up and portion out an ounce. And then I'm going to try one room temperature. I like to put my meats in the microwave just to like dry them out and toughen them up a little bit. And then they kind of turn into like chewy sticks. And you know, now that I'm like listening to myself, like, is that what jerky is? Like, how do I like dried meat in the microwave, but I don't like meat sticks? All right, so 28 grams comes out to seven slices. So now I'm gonna pop one. I mean, tasty, definitely don't get spicy anywhere, <laughs> but these are good. I'm gonna pop them in the microwave. Oh yeah, guys, these are much more up my alley. They are bubbly, they are, Mm, they just smell so much more savory when they're heated. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna let these cool for just a touch. I'm gonna enjoy my meat and cheese sticks, and then I'm gonna have me some hot dogs and tuna and jello and a Powerade later, so. Okay guys, so we all know how like freaking mesmerized I was when I got my twisty choppy thing from Heartstrings Keto, but like look at what else I found at the store. It's a can colander it's a colander for your can it's a canlander like you take your canned meat you put it in there and press and then you just drain all the liquid into the sink what what invention is this like this takes my whole tuna game to the next level like i can go back to buying tuna in cans again that's why i've been using plastic pouches it's just because i can never drain the cans in a way that i like oh Today's been a great day, you guys. I got tuna, I got hot dogs that I'm about to put in the microwave, and I'll just come to you when this is done. But like, I had to show you the can colander. Like, what? All right, guys, really simple dinner. Got two hot dogs with mustard, got my tuna salad with one tablespoon of mayo, one tablespoon of mustard, one tablespoon of relish, and then just some salt and pepper. And then I got a Powerade. And I'll be back in a minute for some Jello. As suspected, dinner was great. Really simple, but back to basics, and I really enjoyed it. I got my Jello in hand, and I'm about to go eat these and finish up the day. 
Overall, today has been a great day for food, a great day for keto. Um, my meals this week are really good. Splitting them up to have the snacks worked really well. That fat bomb was a total success. Be on the lookout for a recipe video for that. They're so easy, but like so amazing. Like I'm just very excited about that. That's about it and I'm gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and a recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next week.